skumata You know you it was hala Sit down, make you relax School on time, got you scrubber To school on time, does come down Tenji, or call and teach your life Zero is zero, nine zero eight two one seven two zero. Who you just school on time today? Anything you want, anything you need in school today Or even if you want to advertise your school School on time is just what you need I've told several people that no art, no life. <laughs> Glorious Amala. <laughs> wow, we have Amala, but you know, maybe we don't eat this all the time. But you know what? This is actually what I call welcome to Lagos. People want to go and do mechanical engineering and all that without knowing that there is a viable option. Printing. Printing is viable. <laughs> I chose to fly the smartest way with one of Nigeria's leading airlines, Dana Air. Good morning, madam. Welcome morning. to Dana Airlines. Thank you. You're on two seats, you're right. Dana Airlines is my official airline everywhere I go hunting. Dana Air. The official airline of the school hunter. I landed at the Motala Muhammad International Airport, Ikeja, Lagos State, and I must say the ambient of the airport has taken a dramatic change for the best. Hello, good morning. Good morning. You're welcome to Airway 2, the number one terminal in Nigeria. Lagos State, popularly known as Eko or Las Gidi, is a state located in the southwestern geopolitical zone of Nigeria. Lagos State was created on May 27, 1967, by virtue of state creation and transitional provisions under Decree No. 14 of 1967, which restructured Nigeria's federation into 12 states. The name Eko was given to it by its first king, Oba Ado, during its early history. It also saw periods of rule by the Kingdom of Benin. Lagos State is known for its everyday hustle and bustle the city that never sleeps. It is also said to be the entertainment capital of Nigeria. Every now and then, we're faced with some simple questions. How do we get the best home tutors, best teachers, and best schools for our children? School Hunters can give you that answer when you visit our website, www.schoolhunters.com.ng. Register as a member today and gain access to qualified teachers or home tutors to assist you with your educational needs, irrespective of the field or subject, and at your convenience. Qualified teachers who wish to connect to prospective clients can also go to the website www.schoolhunters.com.ng and register as tutors. At School Hunters, we also provide other educational support services like general printing of school materials, organize exhibitions and capacity building workshops, video coverage for your events, as well as enrollments and placement services for students. So do visit us on our website www.schoolhunters.com.ng. School Hunters, everything school. It's that time of the year when parents are looking to change their children's school. The following school admission forms are on sale now. Adesoye College of Akwara State, British Nigerian Academy Abuja, the Fashion Academy Abuja, St. Mary's and Alfred School Abuja, 
Stats Right Schools, Abuja, the Naowa College, Abuja, and many more. Pick up the school's admission forms at School Hunters at 36 Notchuk Street, Wuse Zone 1, Abuja, or call 080-908-21720 for direct delivery to wherever you are. If you wish the School Hunters sells your admission forms or assist your school with conducting entrance examinations at our conducive training center, then partner with us today. For more details on partnership, call 080-908-21720 or visit our website on www.schoolhunters.com.ng. School Hunters. Everything school. Hi, I am Shola, the school hunter, and I say welcome to Lagos State. Lagos is popularly known as Las Gidi, and Las Gidi is a funky way Lagosians call Lagos. All right, so today I'll be hunting a very popular college. Um, it's a prestigious college that was founded in the year 1934, and it's known worldwide for its skill acquisition courses. So if your curiosity is as huge as mine, Let's go hunting. Yaba College of Technology holds the enviable distinction of being the first institution of higher education in Nigeria. The Yaba Higher College was established in 1934 to provide final stage training, leading to the production of assistants in the medical and engineering fields and some other vocations. In 1947, Yaba Higher College was converted into a technical institute to produce the hundreds of technicians that the country's economic development would require. This is Yaba College of Technology. It used to be known as Yaba Higher College in 1934 before it was changed to Yaba College of Technology in 1947. It really, really feels good to be back here. This used to be my alma mater over 20 years ago, most especially the School of Art, Design and Printing. So. Do you want to know what the school is all about? Then come with me. Yaba College of Technology, popularly known as Yaba Tech, is located in Yaba, Lagos. It has a student enrollment of over 16,000. It attained autonomous status in 1969 by virtue of Decree 23, which granted it the mandate to provide full-time and part-time courses of instruction and training in technology applied science, commerce and management, agricultural production, distribution and for research. Yaba College of Technology is one of the prestigious, if not the most prestigious polytechnic in West Africa. And you know, they have many bespoke courses. For instance, this is a class of industrial design and fashion students. Hello guys. Are you hungry? Yes. yes. So you can say yes because it's food. <laughs> Yaba College of Technology has eight schools and 34 academic departments with a total of 64 accredited programs across national diploma, higher national diploma and post higher national diploma levels. It's the industrial design and fashion class that's ongoing right now and I am with one of my lecturers. He used to be my lecturer over 20 years ago, Mr. Emordi. Hello sir, good to see you again. Morning. All You're right, welcome. so yeah, tell me what this class is all about. What, what course are they having? These are ND1 industrial design students in fashion and we are having a class on general drawing and um, this afternoon the subject they want to do is based on perspectival challenge. So I wanted to draw the school foyer here for me to understand their sense of perception and understanding of distance of the um, picture image that is given. So I expect that in this study is a simple drawing class for pencil and paper and they are going to just work on linear studies, just straight lines without having to shade. Because they are fresh students and at 100 level, we want to move them through simple rudiments to know their sense of understanding of basic shapes and forms to help to develop their sense of drawing and design. Okay, but um, what industrial you know, design and fashion? Is it the same as fashion designing? Fashion design. Yes, fashion design is clothes, a study. Yes, in clothes okay. making. 
Percussion design is a study that's done under industrial design uh, department in the School of Arts and the students are taught how to design and produce clothing for human and clothing and fashion accessories, uh, jewelries, bags, shoes, all of that. But the major thing is understanding the human anatomy to be able to work out clothing shapes that will fit the human body. So how viable is this course after graduation? It's unfortunate that we are not well informed about what happens in the world. Over 5 billion people on this planet, everybody wants to wear a new clothes every day. And somebody has to produce it. I love to do creative things. Like I love to do things I can do with my hands. Like I can use my skills for. This is my zeal. Like that is why I'm studying it because I love it. Okay, but did you get any objections from your parents? No, no, no. They've always been in support from the press. day I told them I wanted to study fashion. They've always been in support. Okay, so why did you choose Yaba College of Technology? Because I feel they are good at what they do. I feel they are good at fashion. They are one of the best in studying, in teaching, fashion designing. So that was why I chose Yaba Tech at first place. So after Yaba College of Technology, what next? Um, I think I would like to own my own fashion school after Yaba College of Technology. Then my fashion house, where I can always display my fashion work. Every now and then, we're faced with some simple questions. How do we get the best home tutors, best teachers, and best schools for our children? School Hunters can give you that answer when you visit our website, www.schoolhunters.com.ng. Register as a member today and gain access to qualified teachers or home tutors to assist you with your educational needs, irrespective of the field or subject, and at your convenience. Qualified teachers who wish to connect to prospective clients can also go to the website www.schoolhunters.com.ng and register as tutors. At School Hunters, we also provide other educational support services like general printing of school materials, organize exhibitions and capacity building workshops, video coverage for your events, as well as enrollments and placement services for students. So do visit us on our website www.schoolhunters.com.ng. School Hunters, everything school. It's that time of the year when parents are looking to change their children's school. The following school admission forms are on sale now. Adesoye College of Akwara State, British Nigerian Academy Abuja, the Fashion Academy Abuja, St. Mary's and Alfred School Abuja, Statsright Schools Abuja, the Naowa College Abuja, and many more. Pick up the school's admission forms at School Hunters at 36 Notchard Street, Wusezon 1, Abuja, or call 080-908-21720 for direct delivery to wherever you are. If you wish the School Hunters sells your admission forms or assist your school with conducting entrance examinations at our conducive training center, then partner with us today. For more details on partnership, call 80 908 217 or visit our website on www.schoolhunters.com.ng School Hunters. Everything school. At the foundation of Yabatech, the Department of Art, Design and Printing was part of the Technical Institute. The department was started by Mr. Paul Mount of Britain in 1952. At that time, Art teaching in schools was almost non-existent and naturally the general public awareness to a department committed to the advancement of art, design and printing was very low. So why are you studying this course? Ah, because I have passion for it. You have, so you want to be an artist? I want to be a practicing artist. I also want to be an educationist as well. Okay, so when you say an education, is yes. that means you want to teach in a school? I want to teach in the school. Fantastic. So, practicing at the same time. So this is art education. This it's art not just that, but art education. So what advice do you have for students out there that also have a passion for this? Because I know uh, that there are some people that know how to draw, yeah. but their parents won't let them. You need to allow the charge. It's being influenced by environmental factor. So if I like drawing and I study drawing, my parents encourage me. I go to school to study it. I put it into practice. I have put my passion in it and I work according to what I have passion with, I apply it to the society. 
It was a great experience going back to my very first alma mater before I proceeded to the United Kingdom to bag degrees in communications, education and journalism. A lot had changed and the high standard of education I received years back had improved tremendously. Is this a human being? Yes, it is. Can I touch? Yes, you can touch. Is it dry? It's not dry. What's this? Clay? It's clay, yeah. How did you create this? Let's see. Is this a guy? It's a guy, yeah. It doesn't look like a guy. Yeah, it does because it's still in process. I'm oh, okay. Working. Okay, you're not done yet. Yes, exactly. Even has muzzles. Mm -hmm. That's the thumb no six packs. This is two packs. One, two. No, by the time I'm done, <laughs> you see that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how did you get it, you know, to this stage? Okay, well, it's a course um, titled um, Figure Modeling. Figure so, Modeling. Yeah, so we have a model come here. This is where it stands. Then okay. Everybody. Like a real model. So like if, real model. Yeah, so if I, if I get up there and I do this, then yeah. you mold me. Yes. For how long do I have to do this? Okay, well, you can stand there for maybe two hours or three hours. But in one course, position? Yeah, but the course is, um, it lasts for six hours. So wow. the model can go on a break, then come back. So what if, you know, the first two hours I was like this, then I go on a break, then I'm back and I'm like this. So yes, how... You have to yeah. take the same pose. What would the end result be? Okay, would it the be... end result is going to look like the model that posed here. Like the real yeah, guy? the real guy. Because it just posed with um, the boxer, a shot. So oh. you can see the form of the body. Okay, so you're still going to put the shots yeah, the shot and everything. Yeah. Will it be done with fabric or no, no, be everything, done. everything clay? clay? Exactly. I also took time to visit one of my lecturers who taught me over 20 years ago. And now he is the Dean of the Faculty of the School of Art, Design and Printing. Art is life. It touches every woman every day. See, for instance, let's just look there at the aspect of um, printing. Before you ever come to this world, a printer will announce your path to the birth certificate. Then you will start going to school with print books. Um, by the time you are leaving the school, give you a certificate. Aside that, art is uh, a subject or a course that everyone would like to do. And so you don't have to come and learn about the, the course in Yabate. Looking around at the sculptures, I was curious to know what it entails to study sculpture in a society where many parents want their children to study courses like medicine, law, accounting, and the likes. Is this the only size or yeah, would you create did, something as big I as this to, one? Okay, the final product should be double life size. Okay. From the, from the bus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's double life size and I'll be taking the modern fabric. So it's more as uh, material experimentation. Yeah. yeah. So it's to work with different materials. The, the idea I have behind um, for, my, for my sculpture back to school is to set our proposals. I have, to, I have to work at home, set up a studio, you know, I have to be consistent in my work. In my work. And how difficult is this course? It sounds very difficult. It sounds interesting no, though, but fun. I don't know. <laughs> it's fun and it's actually, I'm the only girl in the studio, in the department. Wow, she's the only girl in the studio, <laughs> in this department. Give me a high five, give me a high five. Yes! Having interviewed the students, I could feel their passion radiate from the inside. Then I wondered. Why do most parents impose certain courses or career choices on their children? Is this a disservice to them? I spoke with Jeff Olubemiga, a psychologist and counsellor, and he had this to say. Well, it's not a matter of uh, if it's right or if it's wrong, but the proper thing that should be done is to have a child, uh, to, to take the child through personality assessment and career assessment. There are tools you can use for that. That will tell you the kind of person this child is and the kind of profession that will suit his or her personality. That's the best way to choose. But parents are tempted to uh, want to dictate for their children. I'm a lawyer. I've invested so much in law books, and the law books cannot rot away. One or two or all my children should be lawyers. Or oh, I'm a doctor. I intend to build a big hospital and I want to be a family legacy. Those are the thinking of parents. But most of the time, I've seen situations that the uh, hospitals were built, and the children were not interested in being a doctor. Parents forced them, but today they are not practicing. They actually went to university to study medicine, but they are not practicing. So the hospital is there. So parents should allow their children to go through scientific 
uh, scientific methods of testing their personality and uh, be able to identify what suits that child. Now back to Yabatek. The development of printing has made it possible for books, newspapers, magazines and other reading materials to be produced in great numbers and it plays an important role in promoting literacy among the masses. The development was backed in Nigeria by the federal government with the establishment of training institutions to adequately provide manpower to support the industry. Institutions like Yaba College of Technology was set up to produce competent personnel in all areas of printing, that is, from pre-press, press, to post-press. I visited my very own department, the Department of Printing Technology, just to know what had changed. Did I hear you say, oh, shall I the school hunter has certifications also in printing and publishing technology? I was involved in academic print before they used to employ them. People that read chemistry, physics and all that, they start teaching them printing because we don't have enough graduates. Now, so the industry is big and we don't have manpower. People want to go and do mechanical engineering and all that without knowing that there is a viable option, printing. Printing is viable. Like, at least that took me into the whole world. <laughs> Printing is viable. People should study printing. And the only thing that you will finish doing and you will not find a place to work, the industry is waiting for you. Sometimes we have a request, someone will request 10 graduates. And how will you get that? <laughs> so the industry is open and growing. People who are intelligent in the science area, because printing is science based, if you have a mass English and you have a chemistry or physics, they can do printing technology. A new turn in the printing program occurred in 1977 when the course was upgraded to national diploma level and admission commenced immediately. It is worthy of note that the old Department of Art and Printing metamorphosed into a school and faculty status and was renamed twice as School of Art and Printing and School of Art, Design and Printing Technology in 1981 and 1986 respectively. Four departments emerged, Fine Art Department, Industrial Design Department, Printing Technology Department and Graphic Design Department. During the same period, an imposing architectural masterpiece befitting the school was designed, constructed and commissioned. The edifice is believed to be the most beautiful creative art faculty building ever commissioned in Nigeria today. Acquiring the skills in art, design and printing from Yabatec has gone a long way in improving the economy of the country in the past years. These individuals who acquire these skills have carved a niche for themselves in the country. They have also created job opportunities in the area of art and craft making, graphic designs, industrial designs and the print media. You have gone around the college. Yes. I believe that uh, this is time for you to reflect on something. Uh, by taking our local food here, this is purely uh, glorious Amala. <laughs> glorious and, uh, Amala. And it will, and it will wow, wow. With, um, with Momo? Momo, meat, only chili sheep uh, for you to think and bless us in uh, Lagos. I know you don't have this uh, kind of food now. Uh, yeah. Well, we have Amala, but you know, maybe we don't eat this all the time. No. But you know what? This is actually what I call welcome to Lagos. Dana Air, the official airline of the school hunter. What are you searching for? Do you need good schools or you need school jobs? Do not worry. We got it. School hunters is just what you need. Schoolhunters.com.ng.